All right, so I'm just getting into Ocean City. Um, I'm not sure what recorded earlier because my battery died on the new GoPro 7 Black. The batteries are terrible. Nothing like pulling into Ocean City, watching a little Elias V. It's I buy my time just watching YouTube driving down the road. It was supposed to be pretty decent fishing conditions when I see we had a warm front come in around 60 degrees it says 55 down here and we're gonna hit the uh, inlet see what we can find. I just it was an impromptu trip either stay home and hunt or come here and fish. Either do that or come down here and fish and with the weather being 55 degrees 60 degrees I decided to fish because I'm not sure how many days we're gonna be able to do this again. It's just me. No winter. No kids. Nothing. So I had to get out. I got that itch still. Hopefully the Tatog are, are biting good. I'm going to stop by and get some green crabs from Atlantic Tackle here. Uh, my guys at All Tackle are sold out yesterday, so we're going to go over to Atlantic. And I have to get another anchor, anchor number five, for the boat. Hopefully that is it for the season since it's probably my last trip. Hopefully it's my last anchor. Unbelievable. I'm going to solder this thing onto the rope, and I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure... Make sure this baby is, I mean, I don't know. I've had the worst luck with anchors. It's been unbelievable. Anybody else have bad luck with anchors, especially in rocky areas where you're fishing for tog and things like that, and you're jigging for these fish, flounder, getting your anchor hung up. So that's what we're doing. Pulling in right now, pulling into the city, Ocean City, and we're going right to Atlantic, get bait, get an anchor, and get out. So that's the plan. See you on the boat. Yeah, it's not bad, feels like it's just coming through that little whip right there. It's got candy. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a good one. Delicious critters. Cotton candy, baby. start by working the um, little rock wall over here, the jetty. Um, not as many boats are out there. When you see people sitting on this rock wall, I tend to come over here and uh, hit this first. So getting in town again, it is 2.55, 3 o'clock, first line on the water. I hear people always say it takes a good four or five minutes for the bite to kind of pick up. Well, Some people like to let it sit. I like to drop and find the holes. So I, I bounce it on the rocks, find those holes, and let it sit. Then I let it sit for a little bit and float. There we go. Got one finally. They're just not hitting hard. A bad little guy. As Morgan would say, a little Pop-Tart, first one in the boat. All right, everybody, so on this trip, we are using green crab as our bait of choice. And once you get these little suckers out of the bucket, you've got to get rid of those front pinchers first, just so they don't get you, and then cut all the claws off. You can see I'm cutting the claws off, and I'll use those as chum tomorrow. You also have to remove the top shell, <clears throat> which I'll ch over, chuck overboard right here. And then I'm gonna hook these crabs through one leg socket and out the other leg socket. Now make sure you leave that hook point exposed so you can get a good hook set on that fish. So I know there was one over here, at least one or two. We're gonna go back to it. I'm gonna drop, bring it on that rock. Drop it right off that edge. There's the hole. I got him that time. I got him that time. so far but that's okay.
That is a big fish. That's good fish right there. Guys, that's what I'm talking about. Stud. Right there, guys, 17 inches. Keeper in the boat. First one. Took me, it's 336, 40 minutes, get a keeper in the boat as a stud. Man, these fish are so fun to catch. So fun to catch. Just dropping around, finding those holes, guys. You know, you can you can knock it and say, hey, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna catch any way to wait for a fish and catch what comes by. Or you can wait and find that hole and find where the big boy is sitting down in there. I mean, that's what I want to do. I want to find that big rock where he's just sitting under there and that's that big boy. I mean, I always get them, but you up your chances. Using the Penn Battle 3000, 20 pound braid, suffix, 20 pound suffix with a 30 pound mono leader. I had that dude, he ran me in the rocks for sure. What are you gonna do? Get up the bait caster, have a little fun, some light tackle. We're gonna let that other line try to get out. Dude, everything on this bad boy feels heavy as could be. But you wanna talk about sensitive? Tap. There we go, there we go. Dude, that feels like a freaking tank. Cool if I got that line out. No. Got my other line, that's what sucks. Eh, 14 and a half. I got a fish out here who's dominating me. He's absolutely destroying my lures, my rigs. I'm going to be in the hotel tonight just making rigs because this guy's getting them. We're going to get him on this cat. We're going to get him. He's quick. This little guy's quick. Oh, I got you that time. I told you I was getting him. He's small, but I don't care. He's pissing me off. Man, I'm, you're a little sucker. Dude, you are, you are, you are a crazy little guy. Like a little honey badger. You go get big, all right? You go get big, buddy. That's right, little guy. Grab will get you. Gonna have some good chum for tomorrow. Everybody says Tog will come find it, but I like to put it in front of their face. Somebody come and get in that one. Thought I felt him taking that. Man, oh, there's the hole. There we go. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. He's running. He's running. Dude, nothing like fighting a fish on a bass rod. That's a beaut. That's a beaut, Clark. He's uh, close. Yeah, he's not that close. Damn. Another pretty one right there. By 14, 15 inches. Kim, they gotta be they gotta be 16 here. Get that one out of here. Thanks for letting me catch you. Now I'm not in that hole. I'm sitting on top of the rock. So let's see if something comes out and gets it and gives me a little advantage. One thing about dropping in those holes is that you're in their playing field, man. You're in their kitchen. You're in their bedroom. They're going to take you right back into that rock. But watch, so no bites, right? This is why your hookup ratio will be better if you let them come to it, but you don't get as many bites. Again, I'm not in a hole. I'm going to find one. Because they are not. You got to go get them right now.
There he is. There he is. Hard to tell with these. It's so hard to tell with this rod how big these fish are. Another 14 incher. It's freaking awesome. So many fish right now. So fun. Look at the sunset. Look at that, guys. You can't beat it. Camera. <laughs> I love this stuff, man. I love it. It's 412. Yeah, 45 more minutes. Holding bottom's key. This tide is perfect right now. Ooh, there's a fish right there, man, right there. There he is. Well, it feels like a nice, feels like a decent little fish. Another one on. Uh, another 14 inch. Dude, I gotta take this remote off. This driving me crazy. Oh, he's, man, look at how close he is. 15 and three quarter. Nice fish. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. I love using the light. Like, I'm using bass casting rods, man. It's a blast. Everything feels like 100 pounds. Fishing tomorrow or just tonight? Huh? Fishing tomorrow or just tonight? Yeah, I'm coming out tomorrow too. Yep. There's that hole, guys. See? Just drops down that hole. Watch that tip, tip, tip. Give you a little bit better angle there. He's in there. Or she's in there. One of them. There we go. Nice fish. Nice fish. Of course, that feels like a nice fish. Everything feels like a nice fish. Oh, that might be two in the boat. That might be number two. Uh, nope. Close, man. Whew. Right in the top lip. Look at that, guys. Worth the measure. Um, shorter than I thought. 14 and a half. Get him out of here, that's a good fish. That's gonna be a good fish. He tried to dive back in there, man. Oh, take that. How often we get that? <laughs> Neither keepers, but hey. How about that, boys? No wonder there's so much tapping going on down there. Dude, you love the double. Huh? How about that? That's a shot right there. Blast, absolute blast. Can't beat it, right? Can't beat it. We're running to get bait really quick before they close. So I'm running into an Atlantic tackle. Get more crabs so I don't have to worry about it in the morning. I blew through however many I had, but caught a lot of fish, so it's all good. It's all good. You can tell it's chilly. My eyes watering. Alright, so that's gonna finish it up for tonight. What a fun day. It was two hours of fishing and I caught probably 15 tog. So pretty excited about that. All done for the night. I'm gonna go to Home Depot, get some cinder blocks we can add to our, my reef tomorrow. And uh Tie some, tie some rigs, because that's what I do. Because you lose a lot of rigs out here. Rigs meaning the hooks, the sinkers, and all that, so you can just tie it right to the line. That is what's going on. All right, guys, thanks for following along. See you tomorrow morning. Maybe see you later. I don't know. Right now, 
we're gonna be working on the trolling motor. So I got the parts in from Minn Kota for the trolling motor at a whole $6, by the way. Minn Kota has the best customer service I've ever seen of any company. I say the best, they're at the top with the other people that have good customer service. Um, I've had an issue with where when I ran this boat into the pylon <laughs> earlier in the year, we broke this shoe, we broke this boot. I already got the boot fixed, so I fixed that. But what I've realized is that now the trolling motor won't release without this shoe on here. So I have to manually do it. So I'm gonna fix this shoe really quick while I'm out here before I check in, and uh, which came in the mail for again, $6. It cost me more to ship it, it's probably $4 cost me $10 total for this part and that. I think this part, this part, and the outer housing all cost me maybe $15. So, and get people on the phone, really the best way to do it is call them. They look up the part numbers for you. It's amazing, just great customer service. So, thumbs up to Minn Kota. Love it, baby. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work on this really quick. So we're at the hotel. Figure I'd give you a little MTV cribs of where I stay when I come to Ocean City. Pretty much every time we come, I upgrade us to a suite. Got the pull-out couch. Got the little ottoman. Got all the stuff that doesn't really matter. But we got a kitchen or a kitchenette. So that works. Amir, what's up, you handsome devil? The closet, <laughs> where all the magic happens. I eat none. So it's a nice little place. It's clean. Every time we come here, the people are nice. I was not upgraded. This would be the wall right here. So it'd be like a wall and then the bathroom. Fresh, clean, right? Look, so nice. If you're a hunter and you're coming down here hunting, you get camo remover, you get makeup remover packets. Take these with you every time you go because these take off camo. Hey guys, appreciate you watching once again. While you're waiting for the next part of this video to come out, go ahead and check out one of these two videos here or all our videos. We love the support. Thank you very much. Much love. Hit that subscribe button. Hit those likes. And as usual, shoot some comments down to us. Appreciate it.